Good afternoon, Dr. Do again. This video is quarantine special edition video number 19. I can't believe it is uh, video number 19. Today I'm going to talk about uh, a condition is generalized achiness in your body. Uh, if you follow up on my video series, there's another stream called Alph Alphabetic List of Problem I Talk the Back Pain. But today I'm going to talk about the general achiness of the body. There are two conditions basically. It's one is called uh, fibromyalgia, the other one is polymyalgia rheumatica. What is the difference and um, what kind of condition you need to see emergency room? For the fibromyalgia, usually it's a chronic, long-term going, acneous for the body, pain on the hand, the joint, the elbow, and the groin, and the shoulder and neck. There's a one condition you need to see the emergency room associated with the polymyalgia rheumatica or PMI, PMR short form. Okay, this, this condition tends to occur in elderly people associated with a special disease called the giant cell arthritis. This is, you feel temple headache, headache in your temple area and sometimes associated with the, the vision, you feel the eye pain, I even uh, feel you cannot open your eyes, very hurt, and this is a, a very dangerous disease. So if that's the case, you have temple elderly, and you know or not know you have the PMR, you feel temple headache, you feel your eye pain, go to the emergency room. I'm going to explain because there, there's a risk for uh, loss of vision if keep going, uh, if delayed. The sooner, the better, the time is very critical. So this is the, the emergency uh, condition you need to see, um, uh, emergency warning signs, go there, do not hesitate. If, if I, uh, like I said, if, you have, uh, if older than 65 years old, you may or may not know you have the PMR, you have temporal headache and your eye feel pain and even cannot open or feel the vision getting weak, go to the emergency room because this is associated with giant cell arthritis. It's very dangerous. It's, it's, uh, um, the artery is, is undergoing change and may cause the, uh, the vision loss, okay? Um, let's just, okay, let, let me just compare these two diseases because they both can occur in the, um, everybody. A generalized acnes, like I said, um, for the uh, PMR, the pain is not specific to you know, it's not like uh, the uh, fibromyalgia, you have the neck pain, tend to occur in the neck, shoulder, elbow, and the knee or a groin area. But this PMR can be anywhere, okay? In terms of age, PMR with um, polymyalgia rheumatica tends to occur in older people, especially female. Fibromyalgia in younger people, young or middle age, the female. Um, and the... Um, in terms of uh, risk factors, the PMR usually associated with other systemic disease, like connective tissue disease, etc. And the lab test, the PMR, which has the positive inflammatory response. What does that mean? There are two factors testing the ongoing inflammation of the body. One is erythrocyte sediment rate. ESR. The other one is C-reactive protein. So if this two protein is elevated, it means your body is undergoing inflammation, which is the case for the PMR. On the other hand, the fibromyalgia do not have this abnormal lab test. Okay, no any significant abnormal uh, test or values to, uh, to show that you have disease. Just the, the, uh, the pain usually actually associated with uh, stress or depression, okay, psychological problem. Okay, so this is the two conditions, and the one occurs in young people, the other occurs in elderly, older people, and one is true disease. You have the objective laboratory abnormal, and the other ones you don't have it. In terms of treatment, PMR, PMR like uh, especially if associated with the uh, giant cell arthritis need to be treated with the steroid, okay? Prednisone or methoprednisone or right away. The sooner the better. Okay, of course the confirmative diagnosis is the biopsy. Usually no need to if the 
history and exam meet the requirement and then the, the photomilligram steroid right away. Okay, no delay. It's, it's a vision saving and also you feel better. Um, and then uh, gradually tapering down uh, for a period of time. Fibromyalgia, on the other hand, the really uh, morphine or any pain medi medi medication does not help that much. Um, the uh, anti-inflammatory like Motrin or antidepressant like SSR, SNRI, etc., etc., that really found effective on the fibromyalgia. And the PMR, uh, if associated with other connective tissue disease or any other uh, autoimmune disease, should be treated with the, the causative disease. And the uh, steroid, like I said, uh, go to emergency room if associated with the giant cell arthritis. All right, so uh, and basically PMR can, can use the other medications, anti-inflammatory, anti anti-rheumatic, um, steroid, etc., etc. These are up to, to your physician. So what are the signs do you need to see your physician? Long going pain. In addition to the emergency warning sign, like I said, for both fibromyalgia or PMR, you have long going pain, if you, um, uh, no low energy, just ongoing pain um, on those trigger points for the fibromyalgia uh, can be treated actually through the injection or through the acupuncture, etc. Et the, uh, the complementary medicine can, can also be used. Um, so the, if this is the case, you have long going pain, not feeling well, impaired your function, um, then you need to see your physician. The physician will do the test exclusive, exclude you have any organic disease, then um, find the trigger point, either give injection or the medication to treat you. The same thing uh, for the PMR. If you older people, you have ongoing pain for a while, um, and then you need to see your physician to check out, you see, do the uh, test to exclude or to confirm whether you have systemic other disease and then treat you uh, accordingly. So this is the brief video uh, uh, introduce the PMR, polymyalgia rheumatica, and the fibromyalgia because this is a pretty much similar disease, just the different causes and different presenta presentation and different treatment. But um, it could uh, especially for the female, tend to have this kind of problem. So that's the video for today. I thank you for watching and I will see you next time.